Hello, this is Malorian, this is the Orc Tactical Team, and what I want to talk about today is the whole idea of the catch and release. Now, I'm sure you've heard of this term before from fishermen. Fishermen go, they fish, they catch a fish, and they get rid of it. Their primary goal is to catch that fish, and once that happens, who cares with it, right? Get rid of it. Now, this translates into Warhammer when it comes to your tar pit units. Your tar pit units have one goal. Get in there and tie really strong things up. Be it the Death Star, be it a monster. The whole point of them is to run up there, tie that unit up, and that frees up everything else in your army to crush up the opponent. Now that's all well and good. Now, the, the problem though is that that can turn quickly into a liability. Because if that unit fails on your own turn, they're going to be able to combat reform, and all of a sudden you could be having this dangerous unit hitting your flank or your rear that you didn't really see it coming from. And what that really means then is that, assuming you didn't take a tar pit unit that's, you know, a hundred ranks long, is that you're going to have to come and deal with them at some point. So, the problem with, I mean, you can bring over your big units and charge them in, but as any vampire count player can tell you, that zombies, even though they might be great for tying things up, are again a massive liability. Let's say you have your zombies that are tying up something nasty and then all of a sudden you decide, okay I've destroyed everything here, blood knights, right into the flank. Well your blood knights might do 10 wounds, whatever, but if your opponent kills 20 zombies, guess what? Those blood knights just all crumbled and they're all dead. So those zombies now are a narrow problem, you need them to go away. Unfortunately these type of tactics weren't going to be helping zombies because they're unbreakable, but luckily for us, there's a lot of other things, especially for orcs, that aren't unbreakable. And this really comes down to your night goblins. You're going to have all these night goblins, 50, whatever it is, running up, tie something up, and eventually you're going to want a counter or something like your black orcs. But you don't want those night goblins there because they're still going to be providing a lot of kills. So this is the way it's going to look like. Let's say they have their big nasty unit be whatever it is. You've tied it up with your night goblins, you've dealt with the rest of the army, and now your black orcs are moving in to deal with them. But you need to get rid of these guys and they still have enough ranks that you don't know how long they're going to take. So what you're going to do is release them. So you know from with having all those ranks that's going to keep them stuck. You need a way of getting rid of those ranks and luckily you have the combat reform. So on your turn after you you lose, you pass your steadfast, you're also stubborn so you're going to be passing your combat reform and now you're going to be going to horde formation. Actually you're going to be doing whatever you can to go as wide as you can to have as few ranks as possible. Which means that on their turn they're going to smash that unit and they're going to break. And now that opponent's going to have two choices. Remember the black orcs are standing right here. I can either chase that unit and maybe catch him, but now I'm going to be getting flank charged, or I can let that unit get away and I can combat reform to face that new threat. So what that obviously means to you is that unless they're a real gambler, that unit of yours is going to get away, which you can try and rally later, which you, means you've lost zero points. Those points you put into the night goblins to tie them up for those X number of turns has not been lost. They've done that job fantastic. And now, your black orcs are free to charge in, deal with them, and you don't need to worry about any extra kills going on the night goblins that are going to be ruining the day for them. And that's really it. Pretty simple thing. I never see it. Uh, I think the reason why you don't see it too much out there is that, first of all, us gamers are a lazy bunch and we don't want to have to go and move all of our models. And two, we always have that bl blind confidence that, hey, this is my tar pit unit. I'll throw it up there and they're going to hold them forever. They will never break. Not really realizing that eventually if they kill enough and you didn't take an infinite number, they are going to break. So there you have it. Interesting tactic. Hope you use it. Thanks for watching. Bye.